Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you were filming. Okay. Uh, this is the Susquehanna Valley English Springer Spaniel Club Hunt Test, September 2016. This is Kira. She's a bench bred champion. Um, she's a master hunter, but we're running her today in senior hunter to get her senior hunter advanced. Yes, that's the AKC search for more money. When you go back and you get five It off and turn it it's turning on now. Go. Shoot. Uh, this is Susquehanna Valley English Springer Spaniel Club Hunt Test, September 2016. And this is Kira. She's a bench bred champion. And she's going to be running in senior hunter class. These dogs should be expert hunters with yes. fabulous ability. So we will see.
Now, in a moment, you're going to see the shagger, that's the lady with the basket on her back, walk over to a plant, pick up a leaf, and throw it into the air. Well, there's a very good reason for this. That's because she wants to see which way the wind is blowing. If you look throughout the field, you'll see those orange stakes, and up at the top, they have that orange tape that flaps when the wind is moving. Those flaps. There's a reason for that. Everybody has to know which way the wind is blowing because the dog is using its nose, not its eyes, to find the bird. The scent of the bird will be captured by the wind, and that will direct the dog to the bird. So everyone in the field is tuned in to what the dog is doing based on how and which direction the wind is blowing. Okay, Kira's going to find a bird when she cuts across to that left-hand field. Watch that corner. That's where she's going to flush the bird up. Oop, there it goes. She will automatically get the bird and then bring it back to me. Now, the field is covered very thick, so I'm going to raise up my hand and wave it a little bit so that she can see me and see where I am. She brings the bird directly back to me and places it into my hands. The judges are going to lean forward and watch that. That is a major element in the field for senior and master hunters that the dog give you the bird voluntarily. She has to have two contacts with a bird and at least one retrieve. Now we said no bird on the first bird because it flew backwards towards the gallery. Turn around and see where all the cars and the people are. Bird cannot shoot that direction for obvious reasons because that's yeah. where he's standing. So if the bird takes flight and goes that direction, that's no bird. So then we start again. And okay. then she had her second contact down here. It was beautifully marked. She stood still. She watched it. She watched it fell. And then she went directly to it and brought it directly back to me. Awesome. So that was Kira. Good girl. Good girl, Kira. Okay. Okay, here we go to the master hunting field for the retrieve. We opened to Kira already sitting steady. She found the bird and flushed it into the air. The gunner did his job and brought the bird down. Kira watches to see where the bird falls. That's called marking the bird. Now let me introduce you to our cast of characters. The first gunner's on the left. The second gunner's on the right. You can see him aiming a shotgun. The first judge is always standing beside the hunter. Behind her is the shagger. He will handle all the birds that are retrieved in the field. Then we have the second judge who usually stands back in the center to watch the entire field, how the dog and the hunter are handling the bird and the retrieve. Now she comes back and places the bird 
in his hands nicely. And there's a little sneaky trade off there. She turns around and puts it in the shaker bag. Well, that went pretty fast and we were pretty far away. So let's go back and put this whole thing into slow motion. Remember, Kira's already courted the field. She found and flushed the bird. She immediately stopped to mark where the bird was going to fall. The gunner shoots. We can see the bird falling down into the middle of those two bushes. Kira sees it too. Now watch the judge. She will watch the dog to make sure that the dog is steady. The dog cannot move. Then she taps the shoulder of the hunter. Only then can he release the dog for the retrieve. He says go. Kira then breaks away to the bird. As she goes, she will spring up over top of the grass so that she can see where she marked the bird. The grass is so high that she is blind and she cannot see the place. Historically, this is how the medium-sized spaniel got the name Springer. Birds that nest on the ground like grouse, pheasant, quail, they're in fields with grass that are 20 inches high or even higher, so the dog has to spring up and over the grass to stay on track to their mark. She finds the bird, brings it back automatically. There are no additional commands. She gives it freely into his hands. Now, watch that little exchange between the hunter and the judge. A dog should never see you throw a bird away, never. Their job is to bring you dinner and that makes them excited and happy. Trust me. The handler will take the bird, put it behind his back where the dog can't see it. Then the judge takes the bird, again, hiding it from the dog. Then she places it into the shagging bag. Now that we know what's going on, let's go back and see it again in real time. Kira finds the bird and flushes it into the air. Then she stops. The gunner shoots. She marks where the bird falls. The judge taps the hunter. The hunter says go, which releases Kira from being steady. Kira goes to retrieve the bird. Now I have found that judging masters is the easiest level. Either they're steady or they're not. If they don't stop and stay still after the bird takes flight, they're disqualified. Anyway, here comes Kira back and she drops the bird into his hands. Now there's that sneaky handoff with the bird and the judge, and the judge putting the bird away to the shagger. Just came in 
off the field. It's looking like a little. Okay, this is the senior hunter hunt dead. Uh, there has been no gunfire. The dog did not see a bird fall. And the dog just has to believe you when you tell them that there is a bird. And it's usually a straight line, just a straight line back and then back to the handler. So I know the sun's bad, but if you want to swing around, you can. So this time there's no quartering. Like I said, the dog just has to trust you that there has been a bird falling. Back! Regulations for AKC hunting tests for spaniels, including guidelines for the spaniel hunting tests. Part 3 Standards of Performance Test Element Requirements. Handler Noise In all hunting situations, it is preferable to have little or no noise from the handler. As a dog advances from junior to senior to master, Less noise is expected at each level. Additional judging considerations. Section 3 Handler Noise. Now, this one's my favorite, so pay attention. Judges should caution handlers that excessive and/or noisy handling is unacceptable. Master dogs must be severely penalized, but more tolerance should be shown with the senior and juniors.
okay? Thank you. Yeah, but I mean, just qualified, right? And we're up to eight. This is eight. Right here. Oh, you, you Stay. I, I have to find. This is Remy's now. Oh, shit. Sure. This is crossed out friendly. I know. Okay, I do. Please don't go anywhere anyway. Sorry. Are you hearing for an advance? I'll redo it. Never mind. No. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Wow. Wow. Right here. Feel. Yeah, your wife right here. Good. Good. Thank you. I get to go walk with that? Yeah, but we're like, okay. I would really leash on. Yeah. Oh, it's going to go, go, go. So that might be it for the master. Okay. Yeah, turn it off. That's perfect.
August 28, 2011. Master, Water Blind, Susquehanna Valley, English Brunner's Banyard Club. That was Kira Champion KD Signature Series CGC BN CD RN WD WDX JH SH and this is her third master leg. Her sire is Champion Cerise Signature of Tail Tail RN CD. And her dam is K and D. K &D.
thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and our Springer Club plans to bring you many, many more. Please know that we are not getting monetized by YouTube yet. We have to have 1,000 subscribers. I have thousands of hours of people watching these videos, which makes us very happy. But our Springer Club could use the revenue with all the hard work we put in. So please subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to support us, please go to PayPal. The address is listed here. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Feathers? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. There's the bird. Yeah, good girl. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Annie. Bye-bye, Annie.